Good, Good morning. morning. It is Saturday, December 26th. And we're talking about uh, treasure up these things out of Luke 2.19 where it says, Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Would you pray? Dear Lord, we thank you so much for your word and we thank you so much again for this season where we think about Mary pondering and thinking and uh, walking out the promise that you had for her and for us. We give you today, God, and we just thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As we're talking about to treasure up these things, it says the gifts have been opened, the, party, the parties are over, and the leftovers are in the fridge. And aside from all the treasures under your tree this season, God invites you to treasure in your heart the wonderful things he's done just as Mary did. The baby Jesus had come, and Mary and Joseph were no doubt full of joy and relief. But a little ways away, in a field nearby, God was reaching out to those you'd least expect. A jaw-dropping display of angelic glory was appearing to a group of ragtag shepherds, telling them a Savior had been born in Bethlehem. They hustled to Bethlehem to meet this baby, worship him, and spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child in Luke 2.17. In the meantime, Jesus' mother treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. May this time of celebration also lead you to treasure up what God has done for you through his son. Treasure up the blessings he's given you, the way he loves you, and the ways he's spoken to and acted for you. Like Mary, ponder them deep within. Let the celebration of Jesus' coming continue in the quiet thankfulness of your heart. He says, Lord God, the things you do and have done for me are spectacular. I treasure, savor, and remember them and thank you with my life. Hmm. Hmm. That's neat because I always I have been thinking about Mary pondering through the pregnancy. But even after hmm. Jesus was born then she still had to ponder what God was going to do with him. Yep. She knew that he was a gift that came from God and that God was going to do miraculous things through Jesus. But now it was her responsibility not only to carry this baby in her womb, but now to, to raise this child and to uh, watch after him and make sure he's safe and he learns to walk and he learns to do all those kind of things which is kind of a, a neat thing because we're at our son and daughter-in-law and they have our little grandbaby Molly and I'm watching her and you know wanting to make sure she doesn't tip over fall on a block or, or hurt herself make sure she's you know, when she cries, you want to make sure that she's okay. So those are the kind of things that, that Mary had to ponder with Jesus as he was a baby. Yeah. And the things that even the shepherds, as they came and they saw him for the first time, mm -hmm. and the things they spoke to her about him and about the gifts that they brought for him. You know, pondering those things and treasuring those things in our heart mm -hmm. about what he was to become. And we watched that all the way through his childhood when there's things like him disappearing and right. wandering off and they're wondering where he's at and they find him... Three days later at the temple. <laughs> praying. You know, there's things that, that Jesus did that I'm sure that she pondered and she treasured and she wondered and all through his life. So... Mm -hmm. But uh, when we take this and apply it to our life, and I've made this point a few times in the last week or so, but uh, pondering the things that Jesus is speaking to you and to your life and what he's saying to you. Mm -hmm. Because God always wants to, us to make practical application of those things that it'll impact and affect us. So what is God speaking to you? I used to have a, a person that every time he saw me when I was in Watford City, North Dakota, he would ask me, so, so what's God speaking to you? And we think about those things. We think about, ponder on, meditate on those things that God is speaking to us and why he's speaking those things to us. 
there's a purpose and a reason for those things. Treasure so, those things that he's done for you. Amen. Amen. We see that throughout Scripture. You see it in the Old Testament when uh, things happen and they would think about those things. They would celebrate them. They would build a pillar of rocks or a pile of rocks and they would go back and think about those things. And so, and those types of things in our life can be things that we ponder and we treasure and we go back and we think about. So We have many altars, per se, altars in our life where we can go back and remember Amen. what God did. How he healed our kids or provided for us or led us to a place that he wanted us to be or gave us miracles whether they be small or big but god did lots of has done lots of miracles in our life and you know when you go through a tough thing you have to remember that he did that for us amen. and that he's still the same god today and can do miracles still amen that thought let's let's close in prayer lord thank you for those things that you are speaking to us those things that we go back and we remember those things that we ponder that we treasure in our hearts things that you're speaking to us today that lord there's a reason why you're speaking those things may we treasure those things even as mary treasured the things that were spoken to her because there is a reason and a purpose for those things in our lives. Lord, we just pray for each one that's listening today or will listen. Lord, we pray again that you will bless them and give them a great day today. As we uh, prepare our hearts even for worship tomorrow, as we approach Sunday, I pray that you will help us to be intentional about being in church, being in a place that preaches the word of God, that we connect and we join in in the worship and we take in your word. Bless your people today, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, if you didn't catch us the other day, we'd say Merry Christmas, and as we prepare for this new year, we just pray blessing on you guys. Find a good church to be in tomorrow. Even if you can't be there in, in person, find a good church that preaches the word online. There's lots of them out there, and uh, I could tell you a few right off, so... Uh, if you have a question or even wonder about that, just text me and I'll give you a few churches you can watch online. So God bless you guys. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. And we will see you again Monday morning. God bless. Keep your eyes on Jesus.